Good evening everybody and welcome back to JWE Friday Night Eclipse. Tonight we're in Madison, Wisconsin, where we're gearing up for the pay-per-view event that everyone has been looking forward to, the Royal Rumble. Well, the Skeleton Imperator started his campaign off on the right foot. Will our non-championship contenders prepare themselves for the Rumble? Find out tonight on this exciting and dramatic edition of Eclipse. And for our first matchup of the evening, introducing first, it is the Skeleton Imperator. Your newest men's universal champion. And the Skeleton Imperator winning his championship match last week against Gundam Tanaka. Demanding a rematch considering that he wasn't the one who fought for the championship belt at 8-Bit Brawl. And well, here we are and I see only dark times ahead of us. And his opponent, it is looking to get a closer look on who he is. It is the ultimate detective. It is the ultimate detective, Shuichi Saihara. And I'm not sure Shuichi's looking. I, I doubt that Shuichi's looking for a, a winner, you know, for a winner loss. I think he just wants to get as much information as possible in this match. And the referee rings this bell, or rings the bell as the Imperator begins with a running kick, blocked by Shuichi in a springboard neckbreaker, springboard reverse DDT. And if my notes are correct, this is a no escape match. Meaning that, or a no exit match, no escape match, whatever you want to call it. Meaning that, um, you are locked inside the ring. There is no escaping to the outside. Shuichi came up with, a, uh, came up with this idea, and it basically neutralizes the uh the outside interference and a face buster from shuichi completely taking control of this match in the early stages double somersault roll a uh, kick to the gut and now shuichi going for a quick pin there's one 
but uh, no moss. The Imperator rolling out of the way of that knife edge chop, looking to trip Shuichi up, but Shuichi paying that back with a single axe handle punch. A stomp to the lower spine. And now a leg lock. So working on that base, I'm not entirely sure what information Shoichi is gleaming from this. What he's learning. Oh, and here comes the Skeleton Praetor distracting Shuichi, having a few words for him, and allowing the Imperator to dropkick him in the back. And now Shuichi being picked up, but a nice roll into the pin. There's one. The Imperator kicks out. And Shuichi picking the Imperator back up. Slip! And the Imperator connects with a clothesline and a stomp to the face. And now just taunting in his face. Shuichi with the punch, but the Imperator immediately turning around. And a knife edge chop and a sit down. Not quite a sit down powerbomb, but a powerbomb nonetheless. Kick to the gut. And now a curb stomp. Yes! And on the pin, there's one. There's two. Shuichi gets his shoulder up. The Imperator picking Shuichi back up to his feet and sending him for a run, diving underneath, jumping over, and a double leg drop kick to the face. Kick to the gut, and a rolling suplex. And now the Imperator yelling in his face, telling him to stay down. But me picking Shuichi back up to his feet. Shuichi with a nice reversal. And a reverse neck breaker. With the Imperator catching Shuichi with a big kick to the jaw. And now a springboard crossbody splash. The Imperator with a kick to the arm, turning Shuichi around. And a Dead lift. Spinning sidewalk slam. Looking to pick Shuichi back up. Shuichi with the reversal. Picking the Imperator back up to his feet. The Imperator with the reversal right back. And a rolling suplex again. Alright, guess it'll be a snap suplex. And now the Imperator is just flexing on us. Yeah, I can flex my muscles too. A knee to the face. And the Imperator with a rolling elbow being cheered on by his Legion mates. Spring, or not springboard, top rope crossbody. There's one, there's two. Shuichi rolls out. But Shuichi might have used up all of his energy early on the match. The Imperator looking for the spear and connects. Despite Shuichi being three feet away from him. And the pin, there's one. There's two, Shuichi kicks out. And Shuichi sending the Imperator for a run. Single arm drag takedown. And the huge right hands finding their way through. Stomped the shoulder. But the Imperator with the reversal. Picking Shuichi back up to his feet, backing up, and a sling blade. And now the Imperator climbing to the middle rope, diving crossbody connects. And then just some disrespectful stomps to the face. And now the left hand's finding their way through. And the Imperator looking for another spear. But Shuichi jumping over it. He was ready for that. He He's done his homework. And now it's Shuichi's turn for the finisher. Rolling face buster. And the pin, there's one. There's two, the Imperator kicks out. But Shuichi learning some valuable information later on in the match. Telling the Imperator to get up, 
single leg drop kick. And picking the Imperator back up to his feet, and a spinning punch takes him back down. And back up to his feet. But the Imperator with the reversal. Springboard cross by splash. And some more heavy fists. Running sling blade takedown again into the pin. There's one. There's two. And the Skeleton Imperator getting it done. But again, I'm not entirely sure Shuichi was exactly going for the win. I think it was just trying to drag out the match as much as possible. Just to, again, gleam information. Just learn more about them. Here is your winner, the Undead Empress. And with that goal in mind, I think he was fairly successful, especially at the end. Of course, that's information that you can learn from watching tape, but... There's just something different about being inside the ring, having it happen to you, you get to hear the voice, you get to just focus on more of the intricate mannerisms. I think Shuichi learned a lot. And for our second matchup and our first tag team matchup of the evening, Introducing first, it's the Gestalt Sisters. The following contest is a tornado tag team match. On the way to the ring, damage control. Papla and Devola. And their opponents, they are the Killer Tunes, Kaede Yakamatsu, and, and Maki Harukawa. I was just trying to remember, did I pronounce Yakamatsu's name right? Yes, I believe I did. And both teams ready. Referee rings the bell. And now Maki immediately beginning work on Devola who reverses that. And now Kaede with a jumping knee against Popola. Now Devola going against, against Kaede. Single arm drag neck breaker as Popola. Now just working on the, an abdominal stretch against Maki. And Devola with a Modified choke slam. Not every day you see that sort of brutality from her. And Papa was sending Maki over the top rope. The Volta with a double knee strike to the back. Now Maki walking Papa over to the announcer's booth. And Devola still working on Kaede. Referee 
Not entirely sure where she's going. I don't think she knows either. And single shoulder suplexes from Maki as Devola just kicking Kaede in the thigh. And now tossing Kaede neck first against the top rope. Goes for the pin. Maki in like a heat seeking missile. But as soon as Kaede kicks out, gesturing towards the crowd. Putting the entertainment in sports entertainment. And big knife edge chops from Devola, sending Kaede into the corner. And then just a running, slugging punch to Maki. Devola looking to make this, looking to uh, survive the two on one. And looks like she did. And now Devola going with an abdominal stretch against Akamatsu. As Pablo was working on uh, Harukawa on the outside. Devola sending Kaede for a run and a jumping punch, and now Devola going for an abdominal stretch against Maki. Sliding takedown, and Maki with the reversal, Kaede getting her foot up. Looking for the knife as chop, but Devola catching that, and again tossing Kaede. Never mind Kaede with the reversal. Running, sliding kick. And now all four women on the outside. Kaede going for a cheeky little pin against Papala. But Papala kicks her off. Neck breaker from Kaede. Maki going for the knee, but Devola getting out of the way in a back elbow. Kaede with the kicks against Papala. Papala kicking it though, or catching at the kick. And a back elbow as Devola goes for a pin against Maki. There's two. And now another abdominal stretch from Papala. The Gashol sisters just really working on the abs. Devola sending Maki head first into the ring post. And now into the barricade as Kaede sends uh, Devola. Excuse me, Papa into the ring. Devola with a 360 knee strike. And I was stomped to the thigh. Referee getting into the ring just to slide out, just to get into better position. Maki immediately breaking up that pinfall. And now Devola goes for the, or excuse me, Maki goes for a pin against uh, Papala. Devola breaking that up. And a face buster as Kaede stills on her feet but stunned. The Gestalt sisters sending their targets or sending their partners into the barricade. But Maki with a nice reversal. Headlock uppercut. Looking for the spear, but Kaede jumping over the top of that. And Maki sending Papala into her sister's back. Maki going for the pin against Devola. There's one. There's two. Devola kicks out. And now Kaede going for the abdominal stretch right back. Against Papala as Maki sends Devola for a run. Papala eventually gets out, but not after a lot of unnecessary, you know, stretching. A double knee stunner from Papala. Kaede catching that kick, sending Papala down to the ground. There's one. There's two. Papala kicks out as Maki sends Devola back into the ring. Maki with the ground and pound and a stomp just for good measure. Nobody's paying attention to Papa, or excuse me, to uh, Devola in the ring. 
Here comes Maki as soon as I said that. Now Davola sending Maki crashing over the top rope. But Kaede is there with a face buster. And now Papala sending Maki into the ring. Kaede with another face buster against Davola. And now a cheeky little uh, stunner against Papala. And again. Not a really strong stunner, but stunner nonetheless. And another stunner. And now Maki with the stunner. Davola stays inside the ring and so does Kaede. Sending her head first into the turnbuckle as Maki works on uh, Papla on the outside. Davola with a kick to the gut. And a face buster. Into the pin, there's one. There's two. Kaede gets her shoulder up. And now Maki, just a knee to the face, not really happy with Davola right now. Taking Papala back up to her feet. And sending her back into the ring. As now Maki picks up Davola, Kaede works on Papala. Springboard, or not springboard, Irish whip into the spinning elbow. And now it's Kaede's turn. To do the uh, neck breaker. And the pin. There's one. There's two. Somehow Papala gets her shoulder up. Baki sending Devola over the top rope. Just trying to separate them. Maki with the spear on the outside. And the pin. Come on, referee. There's one. There's two. That slight delay might have been all that Devola needed. Now Maki sending Devola up the ramp. Just trying to separate them even more. Kaido with a running clothesline blocked. Neckbreaker from Kaede. But Devol, excuse me, Poplo with the reversal. And here comes Maki after doing a serious number on Popola. Or excuse me, on Devola. On the ramp. Just waiting for Popola to finish her attack. And a spear from Devol, uh, from Popola just completely out of nowhere. Now Maki. Looking for the F5. Connects. Wrist clutch from Popola. Rolling neck snap. Maki. And now Maki in the corner. Lining up the Superman punch. And that connects. Uh, I think we're fo focusing on the wrong thing. Never mind. Somehow Papala got a uh, got advantage. And now dragging Maki away from the ropes, but Maki back to her feet. Maki, of course, rolls to the outside, but rolls back in. And of course, Papala sends her out onto the apron. And a hot shot. Middle rope hot shot. And now another abdominal stretch. As Papala plays defense, Bamaki rolling out of that head scissor and immediately going after Devola. Or excuse me, after Papala. Nope, nope, that is Devola. A reverse stretch. Devola trying to get this done via submission. Heads to their takedown from Papala. 
playing some defense for her sister, but somehow Maki finds her way through. Never trust the Gestalt sisters to defend anything. That's why Project Gestalt was a failure. I've never played a near or near replicant, but I know that to be a fact. Hi, up top. Diving elbow drop. Maki goes for the pin. There's one. There's two. And the killer tunes finally come out on top. And after a pretty hard-fought victory, the Killer Tunes yet again on top, and they might be having a late-season surge. And now for our next matchup of the evening, introducing first, it is the Blue Jay. Jaden Moon. His season's been on the up and up as of late. And now, having to face off against a former champion. It's not going to be an easy feat, but I think he's in a pretty good a uh, good uh, rhythm as of late. I think is I think he's again uh, think he's in good form. Yeah, let's see how well he does. And his opponent, it is the Dark Lord of Destruction, Gundam Tanaka. Giving up the championship. A uh, championship belt last week to the Skeleton Legion, but I don't think that really harms his. I don't. I don't think that really harmed his. Um, I'm gonna say affinity, but how he feels towards them. I mean, certainly, still wearing that. You know his support outfit for them. I guess you could say. And just looking to have a bounce back night. And referee rings the bell, both men meeting in the middle, with Gundam immediately beginning with a float over, but 
Jaden immediately punching his way out. And a springboard roundhouse kick to the back of the head. Now Jaden picking Gundam back up, kind of, and then a punch to the face. And again. And I have a small correction to make. A couple of weeks ago when Gundam first unveiled his outfit, I said, Osa Ligio Vivit? I have been thus informed that is actually Osa Ligio Vivit. Which just doesn't sound as cool, but technically in Latin it would be Osa Ligio Vivit. There's one, Gundam kicks out. Or we wit. Gundam with the reversal on the apron. Back into the ring. Jaden with a punch as soon as Gundam turned around. And now setting him up basically where Gundam already was. But a knife has chop. And pulling on the leg. Arm drag takedown into a cartwheel and a knee to the face. Right elbow and a left hand again. Kicking Gundam up, a Gundam pushing him away, and a kick to the upper thigh. Kick to the gut, and Gundam with a sliding basement double leg drop kick. Looking for the elbow, but Jaden rolling out of the way. And a single leg drop kick connects. Taking Gundam back up, and a super DDT. Dragging Gundam away from the ropes. Stomp to the wrist, turning him around. Tornado kick to the back. And going for the pin. A bit close to the ropes, there's one. There's two, Gundam powers out. Jaden in the corner top, uh, to the middle rope. Gundam to his feet. Spinning double heel kick, and now the lights are out. Gundam teleporting behind Jaden Pacino with a sharp back elbow. Turning Gundam around, and a power bomb into a rolling elbow drop, or rolling diving elbow drop. There's one, there's two, and Gundam does not kick out. And Jaden. With the victory, and here comes Games Dean to celebrate his friend's victory. Handshake between the two. Lights are out, and... What? Oh, God, did they convert Games Dean as well? Oh, that is not good news for the Blue Jay. Oh, that is not good at all. Not only do they have another one, but... Oh. Oh, the betrayal. Oh. Ugh. And for next matchup of the evening, introducing first, it is the baddest girl of Eclipse. Your former Miss Money in the Bank, former Universal Champion of the Women's Division, the Ultimate Inventor, the girl with the golden brains, and according to her, the golden body. It is the one, the only, Mui Ruma. We're getting there. We are getting there. We just need a couple more, but we're getting there. And her opponent, it is Fiora. From Stillwater, the Falcon, Faria.
And here we go, referee rings the bell. Mew immediately running towards uh, Fiora and trying to spear her, but Fiora going for the double leg uh, heel kick, and yeah, neither connect. Anyway, Fiora with an elbow drop. Now picking Mew up, trapping the arm and, a, and an arm breaker. And now a figure full... A figure four leg breaker. And a drop kick to the arm. Fiora with a stomp to the back. And the ground and pound. Now a knee to the face. Fiora picking Mew up. Snap mirror into a single leg drop kick. Now Mew up against the ropes. Fiora running clothesline, taking her down, jumping over the top rope. And again, trapping the hand, trapping the arm. Arm breaker. Fiora, her offense still finding their way through and tossing Mew into the barricade so hard that she phased through it. Now tossing Mew back into the ring. And Fiora to the top rope. Diving elbow drop connects mid-spine. And goes for the pin. There's one. There's two. Mew kicks out. And Mew with the stunner and a diving headbutt to boot. And now just posing on Fiora, who clearly did not take that well. Snap suplex. Into a springboard double leg drop kick. And now Fiora to the middle rope, diving! Nobody was home. I mean, yeah, Mew got back up to her feet, but Fiora wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have hit regardless. <sighs> okay. 540, uh, standing 540 shooting star press. And now Fiora with the leg sweep and the leg drop into the pin. There's one. There's two. Mew kicks out. Fiora picking Mew up to her feet and just wrenching on that neck. And now, Fiora climbing to the top rope, telling Mew, get up to your feet. Diving DDT from the top rope, there's one. There's two, and Mew is not going to kick out. And now Mew looking for the clothesline. Fiora diving underneath. And a clothesline of her own sending Mew outside the ring. That's what you get for being a bad sport, Mew. Not always going to go your way. And for our next matchup of the evening, introducing first, it is the Archer of the Special... Uh, it sees. Uh, special, not special education, extermination squad, I forget exactly what, hold up.
the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. That's what it is. That was close. That was close. And her opponent, it is one half of the Tag Team Champions, Kyoko Kiragiri. Now both women ready in this no exit, no escape match, just like their first match of the evening. Um, no leaving the ring. As Yukari immediately goes for a pin. Only one count. And Yukari with a knee to the face. And now just showing off her archery skills. As Kyoko sends Yukari for a run and a huge clothesline. Stomp to the back, between the shoulders. And now just pulling on the arms, rolling her up for a pin. There's one. There's two. I think part of that was Yukari just not expecting that. I certainly wasn't. Stomp to the wrist. A kick to the elbow. Looking for another stomp, but Yukari rolling out of the way. And a rolling face buster. Kyoko rolling out of the way, but Yukari with a kick to the gut. And a, a jawbreaker. And Kyoko rolling out of the way of that one. Sending Yukari for a run. Diving underneath. And a running clothesline. Kyoko tripping Yukari up. And now getting back in front of her. Yukari now sending Kyoko for a run into the corner. And a running corner uppercut. Stomp to the uh, lower back. And Kyoko with, an, with a uh, kick right to the forehead. Sending Yukari for a run. Running back elbow in the corner and a uh, Portugal roundhouse kick and the pin. There's one Yukari kicks out. Kyoko with a power bomb takedown and another pin attempt. There's one. There's two Yukari kicks out. And the knee to the back. The Yukari kicking her off. And Yukari with a run in clotheslines. Catching the kick and tripping Kyoko up. And Yukari going for the pin. There's one. Kyoko kicks out. Yukari failing the trip, and Kyoko with a big boot to the face. Picking Yukari by her hair, and just a punch takedown. And now, 
Kyoko to the middle rope. Looking for the spear, but Yukari just getting out of the way in time. Kyoko with a kick to the gut after that reversal. Spinning arm and backbreaker. And a stomp to the face, and again, I think Kyoko is trying to get into the corner. But with Yukari getting in the way, I think Kyoko is just taking out her frustrations a little bit. A bit out of character, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Now Yukari sending Kyoko over to the ropes, kick to the gut. And a running knee to the chest. And the pin. There's one. There's two. Rope break. Kyoko back to her feet, and Yukari just a face buster. And dragging Kyoko away from the ropes. No rope break here, there's one. There's two, Kyoko powers out the old fashioned way. Mere seconds, mere moments away from losing twice. But Kyoko still in this. The stomp to the lower back. And a split leg leg breaker from Yukari. Looking for the stomp. Kyoko with a reversal kick to the gut. And a rolling head scissor neck breaker. Now uh, Kyoko going for the pin. There's one, there's two. Yukari pushes out. Kyoko. To the top rope, telling Yukari to get up to her feet. Rolling neckbreaker from the top rope actually connects this time. And Kyoko picks Yukari back up to her feet. Kick to the gut. And another. Neckbreaker pushing Yukari down. Goes for the pin. There's one. There's two. Yukari still gets her shoulder up. Kyoko picking uh, Yukari up to her feet. And just a minor face buster. Looking for the knee, but Yukari rolling out of the way. Head scissor toss of her own. And just a knee to the back of the head. And now Yukari walking Kyoko to the southern ropes. A kick to the gut. And another knee to the chest again. Going for another pin. Will it be another rope break? There's one. There's two. Yes, it will. Like I said, I'm psychic. And eh, just kidding. I'm a, I have really good intuition. And Yukari with another face buster. I'm getting deja vu. There's one, and another rope break. And Kyoko with a possum kick to the jaw. But Yukari with the stunner. Uppercut to the jaw. Kyoko with a sharp back elbow. And a rolling vertebraker. And Kyoko with a foot DDT. Taking Yukari back up to her feet. A knee to the gut. Head scissor toss takedown. And now Kyoko to the top rope. Telling Yukari to get up to her feet. And another rolling neck breaker. Still going for some offense and just a simple little face drop into the pin there's one there's two even in singles matches
even in singles matches, Kyoko and Saika find ways to win. That just goes to show how talented they truly are. And a really good effort from Yukari, but unfortunately for her, Kyoko is just... she is her. And now... Introducing first... It is... the Wild Joker himself. Ren, uh, my, uh, whatever, I don't know. It's Joker. Ren Amaya? Always a showman. Yep. And this is going to be a fairly interesting match. You'll see why if you haven't already looked ahead at who he's facing off against. Because his opponent is his teammate, Skull. Yeah, it's Ryuji Sakamoto. Yeah, when I saw this matchup, anyway, referee rings the bell, Ryuji immediately running towards Joker. As soon as I saw this matchup on the card, I was confused for one, but honestly kind of excited as well. These two usually working in tandem with each other, now facing off against each other as Ren hits with the springboard stunner. And a backflip splash. Or phantom splash, I guess you could call it. And an elbow to the side of the head. Joker taking an early advantage. Climbing, jumping to the top rope. Turning around. 540 splash. Re uh, Ryuji gets out of the way. Now Ryuji with the uh, 
Interesting little maneuver there off the springboard. Uppercuts to the chest. And a roundhouse, or not a roundhouse. A, uh, an uppercut to the jaw. A wind-up uppercut. That's what that's, that's what I was thinking of. Wind-up. And a stomp to the thigh. Picking Joker up by his hair. And a kick to the jaw. And now Ryuji working Joker into the corner. And a kick right to the jaw again. And now Ryuji goes for a pin. There's one. There's two Joker kicks out. Joker out onto the apron. Ryuji watching him. And now just trying to slug him off. But Joker with the reversal. Hopping back into the ring. And a big punch to the face. And again. Now in the corner. And just a interesting clothesline into a running bulldog. And now Joker up to the top rope. Telling Ryuji to hurry it up. Typhing arm drag takedown. Ryuji rolls to the outside. Joker with a with a phantom dive. Stomp to the back. And now some stomps to the face. Joker sends Ryuji back into the ring and climbs back in himself, jumps in, and picks Ryuji back up. And now looking for the showtime. And now just locking in a leg lock. Trying to make Ryuji tap, but Ryuji rolls out. Another springboard stunner from uh, Joker. Taking Ryuji back up to his feet. Now Ren walking him over from one set of ropes to the other. And now looking for the Phantom Splash. Or the Phantom Cutter, there's one. There's two, Ryuji kicks out. Phantom Cutter, that's what that's called. And a walking Joker, or excuse me, Joker, walking Ryuji over to the ropes and looking for another Phantom Cutter. And again connects. I don't think Ryuji's kicking out this. There's one, there's two, and indeed he did not. And, whoa, very quickly, here comes the Skeleton Praetor lowering a steel cage around the ring. When did that get up there? Joker slipping the punch. And now, I think the Praetor's trying to... I don't know, get some revenge. I don't know from what. I think he's... Maybe he's trying to recruit Joker. I don't know. But Joker's not having any of it. And... I don't think that's a good look for the Skeleton Legion. I think the Imperator, or th excuse me, I think the Praetor acted out of line. I don't think the Imperator greenlit that at all. And now for the penultimate matchup of the evening. Introducing first, it is the People's Champion, not The Rock. But uh, Kasumi Yoshizawa. And her opponent, 
It is the Change Bringer Delta. And both women getting warmed up. Referee rings the bell. And they meet in the middle. Not slowly walking towards each other, but quickly walking towards each other. Delta immediately begins with a snap suplex and a side angle slam. Sending Kasumi for a run. Arm drag takedown. Panda's right hand finds its way through. A stomp to the wrist, and a stomp to the other arm. Now picking Kasumi back up to her feet. Bit of a slow start for the uh, Violet. The rolling elbow from Diane, or not Diane, Delta. And a standing uh, moonsault. And a running hair toss bulldog into the pin. There's one Kasumi kicks out. And dealt with a huge right hand to the top of the head. Taking Kasumi down and looking for a scorpion clutch. Again, trying to get this done early. Kasumi gets herself out. And a springboard roundhouse kick from Violet. Looking to turn things around. Picking Delta up by her hair in just a, a right hand. Delta to the, to the outside. Kasumi to the top rope. And diving. Stunner from the top. And a high kick connects. Knife edge chop. Picking Delta back up to her feet. And just another roundhouse kick. Now the half hitch knee raises. Spinning heel kick to the gut. And a double leg drop kick right to the. Uh, right below the sternum. And tossing Delta back into the ring. Kasumi finds her way back into the ring as well via the top rope. Diving elbow somehow connects. And a 540 shooting star press into the pin. There's one. There's two. Delta kicks out. And now Kasumi again to the top rope. Another 540 splash, but Delta King out of the way this time. A kick right to the middle of the spine. Delta goes for the pin. There's one. There's two. Kasumi kicks out. And now Delta in the corner. Piping up the crowd. And a running. Knee strike into the pin. There's one. There's two. Kasumi rolls out. And Kasumi with the stunner as soon as Delta tried to pick her up. Another high kick with Delta with the reversal. An elbow right to the leg. And a twirling backbreaker. Now Delta... To the middle rope. Crossbody. Nobody's home. And now Kasumi. Working on the arm. Showing off a little bit. But Delta immediately there. Nice reversal from Kasumi. Looking for the springboard. I don't think she uh, liked the idea though. 
Delta completely whiffing on that Irish whip. But Hurricane Rana, Neckbreaker, or DDT, whatever. Kasumi with a cheeky little roll up. There's one. Delta kicks out. And now Delta walking Kasumi from one side of the ring to the other. And the clothesline over the top rope. Delta staring her down. And now off the rope. And a suicide arrow pushing Kasumi down to the mat. Kasumi rolling back to her feet, but Delta tossing her back down. And a reverse side angle slam, picking Kasumi back up. Kasumi, I don't think she realizes where she is, and this is a dangerous spot to be in, considering, well, her history with being counted out. Neckbreaker. Delta picking Kasumi back up to her feet. And a rolling single shoulder suplex. Delta picking Kasumi back up. And retreating back to the ring. So does Kasumi. Pele kick from Delta. Pushing her down. Going for the pin. There's one rope break. Onto the wrist, but Kasumi with the arm drag reversal and just pulling on the arm, trying to desocket it or dislocate it or something. Nice block of the kick, but only blocked one. And Delta with a rolling neck breaker and another pin attempt. There's one, there's two. And unfortunately for the fan base, Kasumi can't win them all. Delta getting it done, but Kasumi put up a pretty fair fight and just got away from her towards the end. And Delta, she has a championship obligation. Oh, she has an obligated, a guaranteed championship match at. Uh, at um, the Royal Rumble. And she's setting herself up nicely to face off against Saika. And now, how long has it been since our last tag team main event? It's been a while. Anyway, introducing first. It's not a sight that you really want to be seeing. It is the two Praetors representing the Skeleton Legion. Or the two Praetorians, rather. There's only one Praetor, there's two Praetorians. I guess now there's three. Anyways, Praetorian Jaren and Praetorian Bones.
and their opponents. It is your men's tag team champions. The Agents of Anarchy. And here we go, referee rings the bell as Jaren immediately goes after Kokichi and Sir Bones with a springboard cross by splash against Rantaro. Kokichi with a rolling takedown and a kick against Jaren. Bones with an, with an arm breaker against Rantaro. And again, spinning tornado kick from Kokichi. Bones sending Rantaro for a run. Tornado drop kick as Jaren with the sharp elbow reversal. Bones with the reversal in the corner and a clothesline. And a corner alley oop power bomb into the pin. There's one. Rantaro kicks out. Backbreaker from uh, Praetorian Jaren and completely eating that. I guess the helmet does come in handy sometimes. As now Rantaro gaining advantage over Bones. Leg drop. And now kick. Or excuse me, knees to the hamstring on the outside. Rantaro pulling on the arm of Bones. And now a gut buster. Rantaro picking Bones back up. As now Kokichi getting advantage against uh, Jaren, but Jaren with the right hands, Rantaro with the slugging rights against uh, Bones in the corner. Now Jaren with a spinning takedown, Bones back to his feet about a rolling thunder stunner from Rantaro and a leg drop. And a uh, knee to the face. And Bones in the corner. Referee having to pull uh, Rantaro away from Sir Bones. And Bones with the reversal. A right hand twirling backbreaker. And a neck breaker from Jaren, picking Kokichi back up to his feet as Rantaro sends Bones over the top rope. And now a neck breaker, excuse me, a face buster from Jaren on Rantaro as Bones goes after Kokichi. Kokichi with a kick to the gut, but an arm drag takedown. Jaren picking Kokichi up, turning him around, and a face buster Kokichi with the reversal. Kick to the gut and a neck breaker. Sit down neck breaker from Bones as Kokichi tosses Jaren back into the ring. And a double knee stunner into the pin. There's one. There's two. Rantaro barely kicks out. There's one. Kokichi kicks out. Moonsault splash from Bones. As Jaren picks Kokichi up and a face buster into the pin. Referee in position, there's one. There's two. Kokichi kicks out. Twirling clothesline from Bones. As now Jaren 
Heads up top. Telling Kokiji to get up to his feet. Spine buster from Bones as Kokichi with the reversal. Off the top rope maneuver. Split leg leg breaker. And now Kokichi goes for the pin. Jaren kicks out at a one count. Face buster from Rantaro. Cross by a splash from Jaren. And a knee to the face. Rantaro goes for the pin. Bones doesn't even need a single, doesn't even, doesn't even need a one count to kick out. All four men on the outside now. Spinning face buster. Bones trying to regain control over his match against Rantaro. Eventually does double leg drop kick. And send, or, uh, excuse me, Bones sends Rantaro back into the ring. It was Jaren with the double leg drop kick. Bones slow back into the ring, but into the ring nonetheless, allowing Rantaro to send him into the corner. Jaren goes for the pin, but Rantaro is going to be there to break it up. Neck breaker. And a leg, or a dragon screw takedown. And Bones picking Rantaro back up to his feet. And the Skeleton Legion again, just slowly regaining control. Kokichi with the reversal and sending Jaren into the, uh, into the ring post. But a neck breaker from Bones. Now Bones going after Rantaro. Switching partners. And now Jaren gaining revenge. Sending Kokichi headfirst into the ring post. Rantaro to the outside. And sends Jaren into the ring. Bones tossing <laughs> Guess where else? Rantaro into the ring post. And Bones goes for the pin. There's one. There's two. Rantaro kicks out. Jaren. There's one. There's two. And Jaren getting the win. For the Skeleton Legion. And as we watch the replays, I would like to thank you all for... Wait, what's going on in the ring? Now we... Okay. Uh, we had to cut the uh, replays a bit short because the Skeleton Legion are just absolutely beating up the Ages of Anarchy. And with that interesting development out of the way uh i would like to thank you all for joining us here tonight on eclipse hope to see you for the next uh batch of weekly shows as we get ready for the royal rumble i know i've said it over the past couple of shows but this will be the biggest crossover event in jwe history as all three brands will be competing under one set of lights but yeah, we are ever closer to Ultimate Fight Night. But until then, we are signing out for Madison, Wisconsin. See ya.